FMU, you're on the air. Uh, hi, Tom. This is Damien from Brooklyn. Damien from Brooklyn. Where are you in Brooklyn, Damien? Uh, I'm in, you know, I, I may rather not say for reasons that might become apparent. What? Uh, I'd like to say that it's just like a smaller neighborhood that's uh, pretty intimate. Um, Because, you know, maybe we're talking about folks who live around here who uh, would rather not have their spot blown up. Goodbye. Yeah, the spot's going to be blown up. Everybody's going to hear your call. Oh, that guy sounded cool. Let's all move to his neighborhood. What a... What do I even call a guy like that? What do I call? What's a good name? Oh, man, maybe I don't want to uh, blow up the spot in this neighborhood. Uh, people who live here don't want their little neighborhood blown up. Yeah. Yeah. Here come the moving trucks. Oh, this neighborhood was paradise until that guy called the best show. <laughs> What's wrong with that guy? Really? Look, I understand privacy with these things. I understand it. But that's like, I'd rather not say what neighborhood in Brooklyn, if you don't mind. Don't worry. It's one of th- three neighborhoods anyway with you. One of three. Right? Which ones, Mike? Williamsburg. Williamsburg. What'd you say? Where else? Greenpoint or where? Uh, that, that guy sounds like a weird Red Hook dude in the middle of nowhere. The only way you get anywhere is by uh, riding a fire truck. You gotta literally go to and from a fire, get a ride on a fire truck to the subway. Come on, that'll stick in my craw all night. That guy. Hey, did you ever see? I was talking about Kelsey Grammer earlier. You know the video where he falls, Mike. Isn't that like the greatest video you've ever seen? I'm going to play it now. I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to play something even better. By I'm going to play him doing stand-up. Let's see. Kelsey Grammer. This is him doing stand-up. I don't want to play this yet. Where's him falling? And, like, you type in Kelsey Grammer on YouTube, literally, first thing that comes up, falling off stage. Like, this guy, this guy's on TV for, for 25 years, and he's known for... Well, I was, uh, when I was, uh, uh, it's a small world, uh, pretending I was a, uh, oh, oh, and he's like, oh, that's the greatest moment. Let's hear it. I got to hear it. Kelsey G. Trip through It's a small world, pretending I was a UN interpreter. Oh, good Lord. Oh. Oh. I, I think I'm... Wow, that was really, really bad. The world pretending I was a UN interpreter. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> like I know the it doesn't translate over the radio, but that translates over the radio. Just picture that windbag, like patrolling a stage, like so imperious. And then, uh, and then he walks out to the lip, of, like. And I think the thing is the stage, uh, uh, D- Daniel uh, Ralston was telling me that he said this, he thinks the stage is in the shape of the U.S., which this guy is like uh, Joe Republican, this uh, Kelsey Grammer. It's like uh, nice patriotism. Guy doesn't even know the shape of the U.S. He fell off Texas. Just kept walking. Guess he wants to in next Mexico the way he was walking. He thought he could keep going. I uh, was, uh, it's a small world, I thought it was a U.N. interpreter. <laughs> but here's him doing stand-up. Now just listen, I just want, tell me if this is not one of the most skin-crawling things you've ever heard. This is this guy, he's fully famous at this point. And he has the best, like, these people are being so gracious because he's famous but he's saying nothing funny. Listen, listen to how this audience laughs and laughs and laughs at this guy saying absolutely nothing, even in the neighborhood of like the kind of thing that would actually generate an actual laugh. Like he's saying things you'd go like, hmm, 
Like, that's as funny as it would. Hmm. But what he says it. <laughs> Here's Kelsey Grammer doing stand-up on some ridiculous show. Next on stage, Kelsey Grammer. Well, listen to this. Okay, cool. Well, I, I love you guys. Well, I guess I'm done then. That's great. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Frankly, I'm sort of terrified being up here. This is not, as you know, my métier. Oh, I'm my, not, uh... My métier. I, uh, as you know, this is not my métier. That's a, a great approach to stand-up. Métier. Like, he's one of these fake smart guys. Right? This guy's not smart. He just knows how to play smart people. This guy's probably dumb as a pile of bricks, but he just has this ability to ape smart people. Oh, that guy just like, there's no way he's smart. Oh, I'll say it right. Him, I, Alec Baldwin is not smart, and this guy's not smart. Right? Alec Baldwin just has the ability to be like authoritative. But there's like a pea rattling around in his head, right? Like a bird brain. <laughs> Here's Kelsey Grammer. I'm not really an act, you know, a stand-up person. I'm a, a an actor, and so uh, these kind of situations make me very nervous. I have great, great respect for uh, what stand-up comedians do, and uh, oh. frankly, it terrifies the hell out of me, which is why I never even tried. But, it's like uh, that got a laugh. The only solace that got a laugh. Well, frankly, it uh, terrifies the hell out of me, which is why I never tried. <laughs> like some guy actually went <laughs> at that. I'm being here is that I have planned my escape route. <laughs> All I have to do is walk down these stairs. I go out that way, I take a right, take a little left, wrap around, go up the stairs, get into the car. And I drive home, I'm home in about 23 minutes, and this entire experience is over for me. <laughs> that, is that, have you ever heard people spot a guy everything more than that? <laughs> he gave all the ways he'd leave the, see this is why it was funny. He started saying he'd go through the thing and then around the thing and then up the thing and then into his car and he said how far he was away from his house. And then this entire experience had not, has never, ha is over with. It is not my metier. Metier. Oh boy. <sighs> I've been yawning a lot, which is another thing I do when I get nervous. It's probably the only real sign that I, uh, you can see that I'm nervous. I'm in the middle of a... <sighs> First of all, that sounds like a straight up lie. He yawned. That's how he's nervous. He yawned. No one in the, there's no physiological way. I get nervous and I yawn. Have you ever heard of that, Mike? All those degenerates at that bar you hang out with? Did any of them ever yawn when they're bored? No <laughs> yawning aloud? Yeah, well, that's your own nightmare. <laughs> Trying to pretend that I'm fine. I was once out uh, <clears throat> sailing a, a boat with some friends and uh, we stumbled into a squall, a huge squall. Well, Unfortunately, first... they knew. What a relatable story he's starting to tell. He's out yachting with his friends, and they hit a squall. Unbelievable. Hit a squall. <laughs> I know what that's like. It's so true. It's so true. Me pretty well. So it starts to rain, pour down the, the main sheets, flopping around. And I'm trying to bring that one down. They didn't know anything about sailing. So I started to yawn. And that's when they panicked. <laughs> my friend Barry was down below going, like, Coast Guard, Coast Guard, Mayday, Mayday. Oh, my God, he's yawning. And so, anyway, I'm up here. I just... Oh, admittedly, to be fair to the audience that was in this guy's corner, they were not in his corner on that final one. Even they couldn't, they couldn't feign laughing it. And it's like, my friend sounds there. He's like, Mayday, Mayday. Oh, my God, he's yawning. And they're like, all right, 
This guy's pushed. This guy shouldn't be here. Like they spotted him. Uh, they spotted him two minutes. Let's see. I gotta hear that again. <laughs> my friend Barry was down below going, like, Coast Guard, Coast Guard, Mayday, Mayday. Oh my God, he's yawning. What's up? Anyway, I'm up here. I just said we had some material written that I was going to try, and then I thought, well, why bother, you know, asking you to give me the illicit, um, the um, obligatory response, a sort of a chuckle, a giggle, sort of really an embarrassed, like, why is he even bothering with that? So <laughs> I, uh, I thought that it would be better to offer myself as a true co-host this evening and serve as, well, a wiping of the lens Ugh. in between. What a pretend, like... Someone should have thrown a bottle at him at that point. I will be a true host. A wiping of the lens, as it may be. A w like, a wiping of the lens. These guys get so inside themselves. Oh, all right. Let's close. I got to finish this. I went all the way to the beginning. I can't go to the beginning now. Come on. Grammar. Dude. No. No. Work for me. Sort of really an embarrassed, like, why is he even bothering with that? So <laughs> I, uh, I thought that it would be better to offer myself as a true co host this evening and serve as, well, a wiping of the lens in between the brilliant appearances that we'll have this evening. <laughs> and uh, what a generous guy. It's like, oh no, he could be funny, but he's not going to. I offer myself as a co-host tonight, a uh, wiping of the lens, as it will. It's like, oh, no, trust me. Hey, the most you can do is uh, wipe the lens here. Oh, un, that guy. What deal did that guy make to have this, like, lifelong career in show business? He did something. He must have a photo of everybody. Some incriminating photo of, like, everyone who runs every studio. Because that guy has worked. Some of those things, Periscope Down, some of those movies. What other things has he been in? He was like in that. He was like in a De Niro movie where it was like, oh wow, that's like when you realize like De Niro movies were bad. Is like because it turned out Robert De Niro was in a Kelsey Grammer movie. It wasn't like that's so weird. It was like. uh because at first it was like, oh, that's so weird. Kelsey Grammer's in this De Niro movie? It's like, eh, no. Robert De Niro's on a, in a free fall. He's in a Kelsey Grammer movie. Oh, let's go back to the phones. FMU, you're on the air. Hey, uh, Dr. Wilkins, um, this is Dom Sharpling. And um, I, I, I hate to ask this right now. I'm in a real bind. I need, um, a, uh, I need you to refill that prescription of those pills that will make the wrinkle do itself. Who is this? Wait, who's this? This is Tom. Oh my God, it's your brother Dom. Forget you heard a word I said, okay? Well, what were you? Who were you calling, Dom? Oh, that's it. Wow. 